Hi everyone, it's DJ here from Cozy RC and this is the brand new build series of a twin drive twin motor mono hull. It is based on the wild thing, but I changed the design. In this video I'm going to show you the first building steps, basically until what you see here. I'm really excited about this build. As you might know, I built a wild thing already. It started as a 60 plus miles an hour DIY boat and finally I ended up with a 75 plus miles an hour boat. So really stoked about this build, great performer and I thought let's step up the game and let's make a twin drive mono hull. I took some improvement ideas from the wild thing and I implemented it in this design. For example around the deck opening I now made these ribs. So these ribs will really strengthen the deck. After I applied the bottom sheeting I will apply a carbon weave from the inside. Regarding the setup of this boat, I'm thinking about twin 3674 motors. They will be put around here. I'm currently designing the motor bracket and I have to look if everything will fit because I will have uh, twin ESCs of course and most likely I will have two lipos next to each other. I'm also thinking about how I should make the drives. I'm considering two options. The first one is uh, dual stinger drives and I like the stinger drives because they are easy to adjust, uh, the angle is easy to adjust as well. And the other option is to use dual struts, like a hydro uses and the riggers. Dual strut setup has the advantage that you can basically set up the strut to exit already your bottom. The strut can extend below this transom. For twin drive that might be a good idea because you can put the propellers in, same, in the same line with the water. I think the drawback of a strut is that it is more difficult to set the angle. You can set the height of the strut, but the angle is not really affected by that. I'm still making up my mind on the setup. If you have some good ideas, I'm open for your advice, so please let me know. You start your build with printing the drawings, then cutting the layout of each part and gluing them on the wood. Then I cut them with a hand saw and I cut the ribs a little bit oversized. So these ribs are actually already sanded down, but basically I make sure that I don't touch the line, but I leave a little bit wood within the lines. And then I grab some sanding blocks. I sand down each rib until I hit the line. This way you can make pretty accurate ribs.
The transom is made from birch ply and it has uh, two layers of 3 mm, so together it's 6 mm. Uh, it's the same as I used for this wild thing. And for these bulkheads I used light ply, lower quality but also much lighter. And these ribs, they are made from balsa wood and I laminated them with a glass weave on both sides, 50 grams per square meter. Of course I will add flotation here, I will record that process. If you would like to see some build steps or if you would like me to explain some details, please let me know in the comments. Alright, thank you for watching and see you later. Bye!